Welcome to another OE Classic tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add your Outlook or your Microsoft account into OE Classic. These accounts are known as Microsoft 365, Office 365, Outlook, and also there is Hotmail, Live, or MSN, and you can also have a custom domain attached to it. So, in other words, you'll learn how to add any type of Microsoft account into OE Classic. This is a very simple and straightforward tutorial, so let's get right into it. Okay, so the very first thing you have to do is to start OE Classic. I'm gonna run my copy here. Now, with OE Classic running, you need to add an account. Go to the top menu bar, choose Tools, and then choose Accounts. This opens up the Account List window. This is where you add or remove all of your accounts in OE Classic. At the moment, the list is empty, so you first need to add an account. To add a new account, click the Add button. This shows the account wizard. There are a few choices here, and the one which you are interested in for this tutorial is the Outlook slash Microsoft account. The actual choice depends on your email address. The Outlook or Microsoft account is used for any email addresses which would end in Outlook.com or Hotmail.com or Live.com or MSN.com. Also, there are national domains like Outlook.de for the German version or Outlook.fr for the French version and so on. The same applies to other email addresses like Live.it or Hotmail.es. There are actually many more, but they all follow the same format and that's how you can recognize them. Finally, there are also custom domains which may use Microsoft accounts. So these might also use this type of account. You can recognize those because when you log in to their webmail version, you may notice that you have to log in to a Microsoft account. Now, at the time of this recording, GoDead is also using Microsoft account for its own email service. So. For any of these examples, you would choose Outlook slash Microsoft account in OE Classic. So let's add that type of account right now. Click the Outlook slash Microsoft icon, and that is also the choice I'm gonna be using. Click the Next button to proceed to the next step. In this window, you have to choose which type of account you prefer, and the choices are IMAP or POP. The actual choice depends on your requirements, but simply put, IMAP will synchronize between multiple devices or computers, so you'd choose that option if you prefer to have same emails on multiple devices or computers, like for example a PC, a smartphone, a tablet, and so on. POP, on the other hand, downloads to a single computer like this PC I'm using here. In reality, it's much more complicated and it would require a completely separate tutorial, but for now this will do. For this tutorial, I'll simply proceed with the IMAP selection. The grayed out options are not required, so you don't need to worry about those. So now, click the Next button to proceed to the next step. At this point, OE Classic will open up your default web browser to show this Microsoft sign in screen. I'm using Microsoft Edge here, but if you use Chrome or Firefox, it will simply open up those instead if they are set as default. In this part of the process, you have to log in to your email account using your web browser. Right now, you have to sign in. I'm gonna do the same using my own hotmail.com email address. Enter your full email address in this screen. Click the Next button to proceed. Now in this screen, you have to enter your password. I'll just put my own password and click the Sign In button. In this screen, OE Classic simply asks for your permission to use your email. That is shown right here. These permissions are required so that OE Classic can properly function and work with your email. There's nothing much to do here, so simply click the Yes button to proceed. And now, the access was granted, and OE Classic can now use your Microsoft account. You can now close the web browser window, as it's no longer needed. So now, back in OE Classic, all you have to do is to click the Finish button to create a new account. And you can close this window. Finally, you can click Send and Receive button, 
and you can begin using your email from OE Classic. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in getting more useful tutorials like this one, please subscribe to this channel.